The Panzerkampfwagen 4 Schmalturm is a German Tier 6 premium medium tank. In November 1944, the Krupp company presented several event projects aimed to upgrade the armament of the tanks and tank destroyers in service. Among them, there was a project of mounting a Panther's Schmalturm tight turret on the Panzer IV House J. The project was cancelled due to phasing out of the Panzer IV production. In World of Tanks, this is a premium tier 6 medium tank, and let's see how it fares in some gameplay. Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks Ace Tanker series. As you can see today we'll be driving the Panzerkampfwagen 4 Schmalturm and driving the Panzer 4 is the Prussian. The Prussian is a player from the North American server and I believe we had already one of his replays, it was M4 on... I don't remember the map but I'll try and find it and leave it somewhere in the comment section or link it in the top right corner. Immediately at the start of the map we have to notice something. Is anybody noticing the problem on this map? Nope. Well the problem is there are no friendly tanks on the 4 and 5 line. Actually it is the 4 line. So none of the friendly tanks went to the 4 line. That's the middle of the map and that's a problem. If you do not take the center you are not going to have lines on the center and if the enemies take the center line they can shoot towards the city and well, have side shots on your friendlies and finish them off one by one. Now he platooned with the VK3601H. I believe he went towards the city so he wanted to go towards the city with his platoon mate but actually now he has to go back and well this is this is the smart thing to do. He is going back he will try and take the middle for himself and his team and well like that try to win this game and we will see why it is important to, to take the middle road or at least not allow the enemy tanks to take the middle road now from this position where he is he is in a nice position to have the shots on the tanks that are in the middle this is what i was talking about if you take the middle road you can take shots on the tanks that are in the middle near the church now he finishes one off now he can Take the shots on the Churchill 7, one goes in, aiming for the second shot, the second one goes in and he, the Churchill 7 has to pull back. So this, this is really important now, he was able to kill one tank, put three good shots and he was able to push the second tank back, so not, a, not to have pressure on the friendly team. And you can see that he spotted the T67, I believe that was his spot which had to move from the position where he was and had to go for the city. Now we can see that the ELC is in a nice position to shoot at the friendly tanks. There he is aiming. And the Prussian takes to himself to go for the ELC now. The problem is that the position he where he is now is very open for the sniper shots from the K5 and K6. But it looks like that the enemy team doesn't have any tanks at K5 and K6. And that's a good thing for Purushan because he would have been gone pretty quickly here if he got in spotted in the open and if they had some snipers. Now what I was talking about a good positioning here. This position actually is not that great if you want to cover the church so you have to go forward. The problem is did the TLC just ram the crumble? If you are driving the ELC you shouldn't ram anything and well if you want to ram something the Cromwell is not probably not the best tank to ram it actually has a quite good ramming potential. Now let's get back to the replay and to the gameplay. Now the positioning that he is taking trying to fight shots if you want to cover the church you do not want to be in this position you have to go slightly forward that still brings you a problem if the enemies have snipers as I was saying but take a look at the minimap and take a look at the enemy roster now you can see that the enemies have four tanks two of those tanks are spotted in the valley on the two line and the rest of the tanks are spotted so the other two tanks are spotted in the middle so he's pretty safe here he got spotted there for a moment that probably is the artillery in front of him somewhere the artillery usually likes to be on the K5 position 
he is trying to find shots now on the KV-2, unfortunately the enemy KV-2 kills the friendly KV-2 and now the Prussian is in a pretty bad position if that KV-2 tries to pull forward and shoot on him. Now he spots the artillery, it was on the KV-5 position, goes for the artillery and hits the tracks and doesn't kill it. So. Yeah, what I was talking about the middle road, you can see that he found le uh, not much opposition, so DLC only. And after he killed DLC, he had a lot of tan uh, shots on the tanks in the city. And now he has the open road to go for the artillery. He kills one artillery and very smartly stays here in the cover, not going forward that fast. He got shot by the left. I don't know how you read this. Kills the second artillery and now goes for the third artillery. Trying to find a shot here, not really able to. And still not able to find a shot on the artillery. He has to be really careful. Now remember the artillery can loop shells. Even though you cannot shoot it, the artillery can definitely shoot you. So what he should have done is close the distance, not allow the artillery to loop around the hill there. And the artillery gets killed by the FV. Now that's good, that's good. Now he has the back of the enemy tanks. Out aiming here on the M4 E3. Oh, sorry, E8. Easy 8. Really, he should have aimed that for himself. And well, he had two nice shots in the back of the E8. And he has to put some pressure. You can see that the KV2 is returning towards the cap. The KV2 is playing a really good get game there. He cleared the city, he didn't push forward, he is going back trying to clear the well threat that is in the friendly cap, so his friendly cap, that's the Schmalturm. And we can see that Prussian is doing the great job here on the T-34 and the T-34 bounces. That's quite unlucky for him. Now he has the back of the EZ-8, one shot on the EZ-8 finishes him off and he has to go for the T-34, he cannot allow the KV-2 to get to his back. So he risks this one going forward. The T-34 bounces and the ram kill, which is pretty nice. Now the problem is that he is stuck. He's stuck on the dead T-34. Really doesn't have enough engine power to push the corpse of the T-34. What he should do probably is wiggle left and right and try and to free his... Yeah, there we go. He has to move before the KV-2 comes here. So if the KV-2 is rushing this position, and he should be rushing this position, he needs to take care of the Panzer IV first. But the KV-2 is still not spotted. There he is. He is on a lot of HP and if he even shoots him once, so if he hits the Panzer IV, he is going to kill him. Now the Hellcat went through in a bad position and the KV-2 just snapshot him to finish him off. The Prussian, nice shot on the KV-2, now he should have closed the distance while the KV-2 is reloading. Remember the KV-2 has around 20 seconds reload, so he should close the distance. But look at him, he is playing really smartly here. Now the FV comes from the back of the KV-2, the KV-2 turns around and punishes the FV for that insolence. And the problem is the Schmalturm is way way off from the KV-2. He needs to push now, he needs to push, he doesn't wanna let the KV-2 reload. He misses one, now shooting premium shells. He misses the second one, actually it bounces. And now he is in trouble if the KV-2 is reloaded. He probably is. Miss hits the third one. The KV-2 misses and now this is the opportunity for the Prussian to finish this one off. For the seventh kill, kill on the KV-2. That's a GG and let's take a look at the post-game stats. As we can see the Prussian had a really nice game. He got a couple of medals like Bruiser, Demolition Expert, Duelist, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, Top Gun and of course the Master Badge Ace Tanker. On the team score sheet we can see that he finished first with 2419 damage, 7 kills and 1358 experience. That's more than double from the second guy in his team. 
On the detailed report you can see that he fired 32 shots of which 24 hit the target and 20 penetrated. And with the standard account he was able to score 29,000 credits. So to take a step back and see what we saw in this replay now, we saw really bad positioning from the friendly players at the beginning of the map. So the Prussian had to close the gap that was left in the middle and basically that allowed him to have a really great game. He was dominating the middle, killed the scout that was in the middle and well from that position when not opposed you are going to do a lot of damage on the enemy tanks that are in the city. After he realized he is alone on the middle road, he was able to go for the artillery, finish off the two artilleries and go for the back of the enemy tanks that were in the valley. He read the game really nice there and that allowed him to have 7 kills at the end of the game. As always guys, if you liked the video, like it, if you dislike it, you can leave a dislike and leave a comment what you think about this premium medium tank. If you don't know what to watch next, you can see a compilation of 3 replays on the previous video that will be linked in the top right corner. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you can do it now. I hope you guys like this one and I'll see you in the next one.